Alright, what's going on, Serato fam? Thought I'd share a little tip that I worked out with myself last night. Just trying to figure out how to get the DJ effects from the software to the 68. And I read up about it, I was getting confused, blah, 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 blah. But I figured it out. And I'll show you how I did it, so you still have decent control over what's on the computer without having to touch the computer. Because that's really annoying, as we all know, having to touch the computer. So, first off, in case you didn't know how to get it working in the first place, you gotta go to setup, gotta go to your plugins, you gotta enable that stuff, both of them. Then enable 68 DJ FX Send, you're done there. I head over to DJ FX. Cool, looks normal, looks good. Alright, go back to your mixer. Yeah. Turn on the channel and let's put the list please. Okay. This is off. All the rest of your effects are off. Turn on flex effects for the channel you want to affect. Should start that again. Alright. Now, you turn on your flex effects. You have your mix level up to full. So now you don't hear any, you don't hear any, you know, change in audio. When it's at full. You engage. This one right here. The fifth insert, USB symbol. Okay, so now. When you pop this bad boy on, see how it's going? It, it's post fader. It worked. I, I, I promise you. Let me use a better example. The crusher. Now it's on. Let's turn it up. So that's how that works, right? That's not exactly the greatest example, but what I wanted to do is I was like, you know what? I still wanted to be able to turn these on and control the parameter knob, you know, from full, you know, the wet dry knob in the software on the mixer. So, I decided to map. I mapped the two on buttons to my two mic flux effects buttons. Now, I don't really use my mics too much, if at all, especially when I'm at home chilling, but at, at gigs usually they just run through another mixer, so forget about it. I'm not using it, right? Why did I say that? Anyways, so those two will I'm gonna turn off my mini mode. Yep. Mini mode off. Oh, sorry, you gotta make sure, uh, backtrack. On the hardware screen, you gotta make sure you have allow mini to sign of mixer controls ticked yes, otherwise it will not work. So now, let me just turn that off. So when you turn it on, it goes on, off, on, off. I'm hitting that button right there, right? That was good, is that the light, it lights up and it lights off, you know what I mean? So, good little indication. Now, I wanna still wanna control that, so I map the two dry wets on there to the two low pots for the mics just above the flex effects and from that way as you can see as I turn it on the thing there it goes full range just like the actual pot it's perfect so now I can go and use all those effects it's uh, post fader so you drop an echo kill the fader and it still echoes out you know unlike before if you don't have a 68 which is sweet so you can use delays and all that stuff since it's not built in on the mixer, and yeah, you can fool around and do whatever. So I like it. That's my tip. Any questions, just holla. And uh, that's about it. Signing off. Good day.